I would like us also to cover another validation known as uh, custom error messages. So um, this is a rule that provides users with specific error messages when uh, validations fail. Uh, for example, if a user enters a feature date uh, for the encounter date, like the one that we have here, um, an error message would then appear uh, uh, showing that feature dates are not uh, allowed. Uh, at the moment, uh, we don't have this rule. So if you type a date, uh, so today is 28th, but if you type a date uh, that is in the future, you'll see that there is no error message. Um, so let us practice uh, on how to add the custom error message validation so that uh, we can ensure that the encounter date uh, field fails if the date is set uh, to be in the future. So I have added uh, this um, fails when expression uh, on the part of the schema uh, to help me uh, basically with this uh, custom error uh, message validation. And uh, if I can take you through what this uh, um, expression uh, basically does is that for the type of date, basically it specifies that the input field is a date field uh, allows features date, uh, which is set to be false, uh, prevents the user from selecting or entering dates in the future. Uh, when we go to the type, this is a JS uh, expression type, and it indicates that a JavaScript uh, expression will be used for this uh, validation. Uh, fills when expression uh, contains the JavaScript uh, logic that determines when the validation should fail. Uh, so in our case, you can see we have uh, the expression is date after, is date after my value get current date. So this checks if the entered date, which is my value, is after the current date, which is get current date. Um, is date after my value get current date function uh, basically evaluates whether the enter date, uh, my value is later uh, than the current date. And on the part of the message, so this is uh, the error message that will be displayed if the validation fails. In this case, uh, if a feature date is entered, the message will be shown uh, to the user. Um, so let's see how that works. So I'm going to lender now that I have added this part of the expression and then go back to preview. And let me try and enter a feature date having now used the fail when expression. So a feature date, Basically, you can see the system indicates there is an error here and uh, the message is very clear that feature date is not allowed. And this is really useful because it will help the users if they make any error when entering the dates to be able to correct that. Um, so let me go just right ahead and save and preview. I'm just going to update uh, my existing form and that's like basically it uh, for that expression. Uh, if you can check within your form the dates and determine some of these that would require validations, that will be very useful uh, and it will help um, the system users basically uh, if they make an error to be able to rectify that. Thank you so much for listening. Bye bye.